there is a ship. No one is really sure on how, why, or when it got there. It is almost like one day there was an empty beach, the next a cruise ship with a hole at the side had arrived. After a while, a group of exiles, rogues, and cats that had their own reasons found the giant. And on the giant, they found the only survival of the ship, an orange molly with an anchor on her kitty pet collar. Hi, hello, it's Kuutti here. Sorry about the dramatic start, but I felt it was kind of <laughs> necessary for this challenge. So yeah, this is the clan generator challenge. You might have seen a couple of videos about this already, and, and honestly, I highly recommend that you watch them. Everyone has been just so creative with this challenge, and I just love seeing everyone's fan clans and new OCs. But hey, I'm always looking for new ways to make new OCs, so this challenge was just made for me. So I did the I did do the generator a couple of times because I wanted to find a clan that was like small enough for me to do and one that I had like motivation to finish. And I finally ended up with this. And I mean with the combo of Shore Clan and Skipper Star like how could I not? <laughs> So, anyway, let's go draw a whole clan of cats. At first, we of course have the clan leader, Skipper Star. I wanted to make her look confident, strong, but still approachable and, like, fun, <laughs> I guess. Uh, she's a red mackerel tabby she cat with short fur and hazel eyes. Or an eye, because I struggled so much with trying to draw her other eye that I just gave up at the halfway and decided that she was just born without one. For her leader mark, I decided to put a little uh, butterfly on her chest because skippers are apparently uh, these <laughs> really fluffy looking butterflies or moths, I'm not really sure. Anyway, their Finnish name is really funny. They're just called Paksupa. <laughs> anyway, I am really happy on how Skipper Star's uh, design turned out. Even though I did have a bit of struggle with the colors and the whole tabby thing, I did try to follow the colors and markings that the generator gave me, but on some characters I did take some creative liberties with that and the pelt length and such, so I am sorry about that. Anyway, I am really happy on how she looks. She looks very cool and strong and pretty. Also, I did decide to do like these uh, small reference sheets for everyone and I hope like, maybe I can do some more videos about this clan later. Next we have our deputy, uh, Roseheart. Uh, Roseheart is short-haired, red mackerel pseudo-tabby, Tom, uh, with uh, copper eyes. I had a very specific shape I wanted him to be. I wanted him to be round, soft, kind of have a... Um, Hmm. I don't know, I kind of tried to think of uh, <laughs> Dr. Charles from Chicago Med when I was designing him. <laughs> anyway, I really, really did not have much good ideas on how to color him. Like the Google search did not give me that good uh, what others, uh, results but I think I managed to do it okay by the end. 
and I do like that I managed to include the red markings so there would be some like reason for his mother to have named him as a uh, rose heart also I think that he's like kind of the dad of the group uh, he's a bit older than Skipper Star but not by a long shot like maybe few moons older he just looks a bit older than the other clan cats because uh, he he knows everyone's secrets he takes care of everyone he, he has a lot <laughs> on his shoulders next up we have the medicine cat b-stripe and um i i love them i love a b-stripe so much you have no idea I decided to give her the clown gene of the clan. I decided to make her just look fun. And I mean, I think I succeeded. I, I personally just really like her design. She seems like really sweet. Also, I did decide to make her kind of stumpy. <laughs> She's short. She's very short, but that has not been a problem so far. And there are a lot more taller cats in the clan that are willing to help her reach stuff. So she manages. Uh, she also has an apprentice. But I forgot to uh, put that in her reference sheet. Also I did decide to make them non-binary. Because um, everyone in this clan is gay. Or I mean most of them are gay. <laughs> or trans. Next up, we have uh, Ginger Tail. Ginger Tail is the sister of Skipper Star, and she's also the mate of Roseheart. She is uh, not as confident as her sister, but uh, she tries. She's usually seen uh, <laughs> biting her own tail since it calms her down, and she's she's trying. <laughs> Also, I decided that uh, she's best friends with uh, B-Stripe. They do pranks together, or more like uh, <laughs> B-Stripe does the pranks and Ginger Tail worries about the consequences of their actions. But, I mean, she's still <laughs> kind of responsible for some of the misha mishaps that happen. She has a very good relationship with her sister and they just... They are there for each other. But um, unlike her sister, uh, Ginger Tail has no desire to become a leader of any kind. Like, being a mother is already kind of a lot for her. <laughs> anyway, I, I love her. <laughs> Next is Mellow Stripe. At first, I didn't like know what mallow was but uh, it's a plant but my first thought was still uh, marshmallow so I decided decided to make her just the prettiest kitty ever like the softest the prettiest I'm, I'm just repeating myself but um I made her pretty I made her really really pretty uh, she has like the softest fur in the, all of the clans uh, <clears throat> and her wife just really likes to spend her time just uh, grooming her fur and taking care of it even though Mallow Stripe herself is maybe not the biggest fan of it but um, with them living on the boat there is like not that much worry about mud or something like that but there sometimes is sand Next up, we have the big girls of the clan. First, we have a Gorestone. Gorestone is... 
she needs help. Like, uh, she's probably right now the one that talks with Rose Heart the most. She has a lot of issues regarding her identity and just like her place in the clan and in life altogether. Uh, she and her sister actually ran away from the clans and joined as a pretty young apprentices. They were just not happy with uh, how River Clan was being run. And now they have been living in Shore Clan for a while and still are not really sure on what they should do. Even though, like, uh, Gorestone actually has kittens and she has been a mother, but uh, even that, <laughs> she's not, like, really sure on how she should handle herself about it. Anyway, she's she's pretty and big. <laughs> Next up is uh, Gorestone's uh, sister. Uh, I hope I say this right. Pochard face. They are much more angrier, much more, uh, <laughs> much more fiery personality than their more silent sister. But uh, he's also. Uh, He's much more sure of their place in the clan. They are the guardian. Uh, he is mostly known for handling all the battles. At one point uh, she really did want to become a leader, but right now that's kind of far away since Skipper Star still has like seven lives left. That doesn't mean that Prashad Face is not very vocal about her distaste on how some of the things in the clan are being run. She has no uh, desire to go back to the clans. She does not miss their family at all. Like, even now she's not really happy with how her sister is feeling and does not know how to handle it, so she's just kind of a, a loner right now in the clan. Next up, we have, uh, again, I don't know how to say this, uh, Asphodel Cloud. Asphodel, I googled, and what I got first was stuff about uh, Greek mythology. And that was really interesting. And only after that I managed to find out what kind of a plant it was. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is probably like one of my favorite designs, like with bee stripe. I just really like how uh, he turned out. Uh, along with Bee Stripe being, of course, the medicine cat, I think that uh, Asphodel Cloud and one of the elders are the three that have the most closest relationship with Star Clan in the kind of clan lore, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> the Star Clan kind of live on the abandoned screens of the cruise ship, like where you would have seen, like, uh, schedules and stuff. So they have basically taken the jump to technology and they just live there because Shore Clan has no way of actually going to the moon pool or stuff like that. And I think the ocean is a bit too big for Star Clan to reach them. They could, of course, go to talk to Midnight, that is kind of their neighbor, I guess. But for now, they talk with the television screens where sometimes some Star Clan cats can appear. Next we have Rook Nose. Rook Nose, I had a very specific uh, shape in mind for his nose, and I am really happy about his face. He's this kind of silent, serious type. Uh, he's also the mate of Gorestone, and they have an interesting relationship. I think the best way you could describe it is the line from the song Pharmacy by Jordan Mason that says a good husband but a bad boyfriend. He actually does miss clan life a lot, but because of his mother he knows that there is no way that they could ever go back to clan life in the original five clans. So for now 
he's staying in Shoreclan with his wife and their two kids. Next up we have the apprentices. At first we have Garlic Paw. Garlic Paw is a fun, <laughs> fun little rascal. They are kind of a troublemaker. They have taken like a lot from their uh, godmother uh, Bee Stripe. Uh, they are the child of Mallow Stripe and Chantarel Nose that I'm gonna be drawing soon with the only queen of the clan. But uh, I really like Garlic Paw. Like, even just the name, I think that's just a wonderful name for a warrior cat. I did struggle a bit with uh, their markings, but I, I like how they look. Again, I took a lot of artistic liberties with the cat genetics and everything. <laughs> And uh, they do have actually a pretty good relationship with their sister, so... Next is Yellow Paw. Yellow Paw and Garlic Paw are like really soon going to become warriors. I have not decided their warrior names yet, but like they are very soon going to be warriors. Yellow Paw, I didn't struggle as much as I did with Garlic Paw. I just wanted her to kind of look like her uh, mother. I guess uh, one of her mothers, uh, Mallow, Mallow Stripe. I also decided to give uh, her just some small uh, bluish spots. Because, well, that was in the description. And I really like how she kind of looks like the ocean, like there is the waves and there is the sand and there is the, uh, what is it, the foam of the waves. I, I, I just really like her. She, she's fun and I'd love to draw her more. I do hope that they kind of look like siblings. At least they have like the same smile, I guess. Next we have Holy Paw. Holy Paw should have been a warrior a long, long time ago, but because of her, because of her uh, mentor is his mother, there has been some complications. And since Gorestone really is struggling with how or what she even is or how she should live her life, she's been kind of afraid to lose her daughter as an apprentice, so for now, Holy Paw is kind of a forever apprentice, like, she really wants to be a warrior, but her mother always comes up with excuses on why she's not ready yet. But she would definitely listen to My Chemical Romance, she's very cool, and I think that Garlic Paw has really big crush on her. They are just, they are really cool. Next up is uh, Holy Paw's uh, brother, Slug Paw. Slug Paw is just pure muscle. He's the strongest, <laughs> strongest apprentice that you have ever seen, and he's not afraid to show it. She's just, he's a unit. Does not talk a lot, but for what he doesn't talk, he makes up with fighting skills. He's also very much a mama's boy. He really loves his mother so much. Next, we have the two little itty bitty babies, aka Apple Paw and Plum Paw. Uh, they are the uh, <laughs> kids of Ginger Tail and Rose Heart, and they have just become apprentices. It's like their first day. They are still very small and very round. They're little potatoes. 
and uh, I I love them. I love them so much, and I really hope that having Asphodel Cloud as Apple Paws mentor is not going to like crush Apple Paws view on the world as a nice and wonderful place. And uh, Plumpa at first, the, uh, her mentor was Ruknos. But later she actually started to be more interested in medicine cat duties. So I did I think I did mark her as Rook Paul uh Rooknose's apprentice, but that's that's going to change. Uh she she much more prefers the medicine cat duties over being a warrior. Also, yes, they both have rosy cheeks. I, I love that so much. They're little babies. <laughs> Itty bitty kitties. I don't know what else to say. I love, I love plum paw and apple paw so much. Then we have the only current queen of the clan, Chandrail knows. Uh, she's currently expecting her second litter of kids with Mallow Stripe. And she's a bit of a vain, she's a bit of a beauty queen. She likes to take care of her appearances. Uh, her other front paw got mangled pretty bad as a kid, so it didn't really grow with her other body, but that has never bothered her a lot. Also, the nursery of the ship is actually in an old uh, old ball pit. You are free to make dashcon baby jokes, but yeah, she lives in the ball pit. <laughs> and then we have the elders. At first we have Holly Ear, aka the first cat of the clan. She's the mother of Skipper Star and Ginger Tail. And she's just loved by all. She has this really kind of like legend around her of her being the only survivor of the ship and kind of being the original ship cat. But like, she's just a very sweet old lady. Uh, she doesn't see much or hear much, but she's still loved and taken care of by her clan. And Yes, she's still keeping her kitty pet collar on because that's an important, like, status symbol to her. Next, we have Rook Nose's mother, uh, Spider Briar. She did some very bad things in her original clan and She's kind of the reason that neither she or Rooknose or any of Rooknose's relatives can probably never go back to the lake territories. Maybe more on that later if I actually have time to like come up with a full story for the for like everything and everyone, but yeah, he's he's done some mistakes and will continue to do them. Then we have Black Ear. Black Ear is the mother of Asphodel Cloud, and uh, she's kind of the storyteller of the clan. Like, she keeps everyone on track on all the Star Clan legends and everything. Uh, I think that she's also, like, very good f friends with Midnight. Like, she takes time of her day, even as an elder, to venture on to Midnight's cave and just talk with her. And last but not least, we have the first deputy of Shore Clan that uh, retired the same time as Holy Ear did, or I guess she was Holy Star then, Trout Blaze. Trout Blaze is a funny, <laughs> funny old cat. Uh, she has the strongest connection to Star Clan of everyone in Shore Clan. Other than that, she's just, she's just vibing. She she has a fun time. And yeah, 
that's all the cats of the clan. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Here is like a family tree or a clan tree of everyone who's who's related to who and such. But um, this was a lot of work, but I really like how this turned out. And I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you would like to see, uh, if you would like to see VIPs, new projects before anyone else sees them and such, consider supporting me on Patreon. Or if you would like some merch, I'm currently selling stickers by myself, but I also do have a red bubble that I will start uploading more designs to pretty soon. So keep both those in your mind if you would like to see some, if you want some YouTuber merch, I guess. But um, thank you so much for watching, and especially thanks to my Patreons, Galo, Heterino, Susi, and Ultrasop. And thank you for watching. See you later.